It's phase 30. All right. Now. <laughs> I don't use this ball, but I didn't bring a, I didn't bring a complete arsenal to this tournament. Welcome back to JR Pro Shot Vids. Today we're with PBA major champion, Canadian legend, Francois Lavoie, and we're gonna be talking about how he builds his arsenal. So Frankie, we got six balls in front of us. Uh, let's start with the high end. Tell us what you got there and why you like it. Okay, the first ball I got right here is a strong ASIM solid. Um, the reality is useful on a lot of different conditions, I feel like, I use that on fresh quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Strong ASIM solids are like the strongest balls out there, so I always, have, I always make sure to have one of those in my bag. Um, so in this case, I have the reality. Awesome. So that's your big tank that most people would have at the top end? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And then moving down a step, I guess? Uh, okay, moving down a step, we're sticking with, um, sticking with the ASIM core, but um, going with something a little cleaner. So still something that's going to want to stand up that can handle a lot of oil. Um, but that's going to be a little a little cleaner than the, the big monster over here. Mm -hmm. So typically, do you like to keep the same core kind of with your, with your big ASIM and your ASIM Pearl? Not necessarily. Um, if I have a limited arsenal like this, if I'm only taking a, a set amount of balls, um, I don't always have the same core. Just in case that core doesn't match up, then mm -hmm. you have kind of two balls that you're not really using. Awesome. And then I see in the middle we have the GOAT. Tell us about the Phase 2 here. Yeah, the Phase 2, one of the best balls uh, ever made, one of my favorites. I travel just about everywhere with that ball. Mm -hmm. That's kind of my benchmark. That's like my symmetric solid ball. I always have one of those also. Um, you'll notice as we go through these, I have like different categories of balls okay. that I go through. So strong, strong ASIM solid, strong ASIM pearl or hybrid, symmetric solid in this case, and then we'll keep going. Awesome. So it's probably best if you're building an arsenal to start with those categories and kind of fill the gaps as you need. Kind of. Yeah. So the main thing to remember, if you're going to a tournament and say you're flying and you can only take two bags, you're taking six balls. Or mm -hmm. If you're limited, you know, sometimes the tournaments have max six balls, max five balls. You're having to make choices, right? Some people have more than, than that and you have to eliminate balls and bring only certain amounts. So the last thing you want is to have two balls that are too close together that mm -hmm. kind of do the same thing. So if I had like a phase two and an idle and a lot of other symmetric solid balls, those are all kind of in the same category. They're all bunched up together. And so that really limits your options when say you don't know the pattern or even if you do know the pattern, maybe that type of ball doesn't really match up and then mm -hmm. you're, uh, you're kind of out of luck. Awesome. So how many phase twos do you think you've drilled in your entire career? I probably have drilled 15 phase twos so far. It's phase 30. All right. <laughs> now moving on to the Idol Cosmos, we got a Sim Pearl here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So moving on down, different category, symmetric again. Um, this time, just like I said, cleaner. Um, the idle core is still pretty strong for me, so that one still can handle oil, but it's a little rounder than these asymmetric balls. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I really like to have an option like that. Um, something off the face too, I can go to when the fronts start to go and I need something that gets through a little bit, a little bit better. Sweet. And then we got the brand new phase five, sticking with the phase line here. Yeah, yeah, sticking with the phase line. So uh, as I said, I don't normally have two of the same core, um, but in this case, I do. The, the Phase 5 uh, has impressed me so far. I've, I've drilled it just a, a couple of weeks ago. and mm -hmm. Yeah, I like what I see from it. That's kind of like, um, as we move down from the stronger Symmetric Pearl, I like to go to a little bit weaker, a little bit cleaner and sharper mm -hmm. um, Symmetric Pearl. And so that, that's going to be the ball I use late in blocks and the ball that I can get left and open up the lanes with. Awesome. Do you have another kind of weak Sim Pearl that you would kind of throw in or out for this Phase 5 or something you used before? Yeah, I could, uh, I could put the Night Road in for that. That would mm -hmm. be a good option too. Um, High Road Pearl, you know, kind of like that. Smaller cores that are, that are clean and, and angular. For, for that slot in the arsenal, I'm looking for angular. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And finally, we have the Pitch Black. People who watch you on TV would know that. It's kind of your go-to spare ball. Yeah. Tell us about why you always keep kind of a urethane or kind of spare ball in your bag. Yeah, well, for this exact reason, right? If we've got a limited arsenal and we're only taking a set amount of balls, I use this as a spare ball. I can also use this as a strike ball if we're bowling on a short pattern. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't use urethane as much as other people do, but sometimes it's necessary. Um, if, if the whole field is using urethane, it's pretty hard to beat them if you're not using urethane. So mm -hmm. um, I can use that as a strike ball if I have to, and then it kind of it, it, it acts as a spare ball for me too. So um, yeah, kind of two birds, one stone with that. Awesome. So you kind of mentioned if everyone else is throwing urethane, you'll throw it. Does it? Do you really pay attention to what other people around you are throwing in big tournaments? 
Yeah, you kind of have to, um, especially especially in tournaments like on tour. Now we're not limited with our arsenal on tour, but yeah. um, you kind of have to pay attention to that, seeing how the lanes break down. Because in in bowling, right, it, you're it's not just you out there. What what the other bowlers do to the lanes really affect how you have to play the lanes if mm -hmm. you're following them. So um, yeah, I, I pay attention to that quite a bit. So obviously Frankie is with Storm, so all the balls here are going to be part of that family. But do you want to run us through the categories one more time for those at home trying to build their own who sure. have the privilege of kind of using different companies? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Here we're starting with the strong ASIM solid. That's really like the monster, the, the ball that can handle the most oil. Then we've got another asymmetrical ball here, but this one's cleaner. Um, hybrid or pearl works here. Then um, kind of benchmark ball is what we're going with next. The phase two here is, uh, is one of my favorites of all time, just symmetric solid. We got symmetric pearl over here and another weaker symmetric pearl that's a little bit more angular than this one here. And then the spare ball slash your thing. So that about wraps it up from here. You've learned from a PVA champ how you can build your arsenal. So hopefully you can take this knowledge and do it for yourself back at home. So thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Our question today, if you could ask Frankie one question, what would it be? Leave it down in the comments and who knows, maybe he'll get back to you. Guys, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.